Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are hanging out at the Punta Gorda, Florida Copart lot, and we're gonna go look at some cars. So let's just get to it. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, because we came down here to have some fun for you guys. So, yep, make it happen, hit that button. Alrighty, first on our list here is a 2012 Harley Davidson. I'm gonna be the first to tell you, I don't know a darn thing about bikes other than they've got two wheels. But I can clearly see this one does have some uh, front end damage on it. Forks definitely uh, took a good hit there. Looks like, uh, we got any rim damage here? Yep, the front rim also is damaged. Rest of the bike looks pretty okay. Looks like we've got some spare parts that go with it too, so that's pretty cool. Now, like I said, I don't know a darn thing about bikes, so I'm not even gonna try to start these things up, even if they are run and drive. But, you know, you tell me, is this something that can be uh, fixed? A new fork, new front wheel? Um, is that salvageable? Like I said, don't know where to look to see if there's any other frame damage. I see maybe a chipped off paint here around the weld, so that may be indicator of some other damage, but hey. Looks in pretty decent shape otherwise, so that's a... Uh... So what do we think? Let's move on to the next one. Next we've got another Harley, a 2007 here. This one came in here at the beginning of March and said it had side damage. I guess you wouldn't really call this the passenger side, more like the uh, right side. Looks just fine. Other side looks pretty good too, so I don't really know uh, Know a whole lot about why this would be here for unseen damage. The only thing I really see here is looks like it may have gotten laid down or scuffed against something here, but the rest of the bike, you know, it's, like I said, for what little I know, this sure does look like a look like a nice bike. We got radio, we got gauges, we got everything up here. Looks like we've got a plug down here for a uh, passenger for headsets. It's my guess. Got the saddlebags, rear bag. Looks like a pretty nice bike. Let's move on to the next one. Next on our list here is a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country with some front end damage. It has about 153,000 miles on it. Driver's airbag, passenger airbag is blown. So that's going to be a little costly right there. Windshield. Let's take a look around here quick. Back seats look good. We've got the third row seating. Overall, not a bad car. We're rocking the minivan down here for our vacation. Looks like we've got our front tire here is flat. The big part's gonna be your front end damage here. So crash bar took a hit, that's for sure. Let's look under here if we can get to that. There we go. 3.6 liter, ever start battery. But it looks like our whole front fan shroud, core support, probably the radiator condenser are gonna be shot. Yep. Not a bad repair, kind of what I've been focusing on, but with those airbags blown, that sure adds a couple thousand dollars into the repair. Rear entertainment for the kiddos. It's not too bad. 
So we got a third entertainment screen back there too. That's pretty nice. Let's go see. Locked. So we'll move on to the next one. Wow, this one here is sad to see. A 99 Grand Marquis. My father drove one of these things for years for work. Airbag is blown front, driver and passenger. But hopefully everybody got out of here without any issue. Looks like the front end of the car here took the majority of the damage. Wow. Look at that. Those frame rails are all kinked over to the side. Suspension, of course, is all wadded up. Oh, under the front. Yeah, that looks kind of nasty, too. Engine looks like it's pushed back. Yeah, definitely, this one is a goner. Certainly has some good parts in the back of it. The donor, maybe the rear end. Got good tires on it. Nice wheels. Wow, it even looks like the trunk got pushed back. Look at that. Look at that gap. Is that from the accident or something else going on? Take a look from the back seat here quick. Yep, that's what I remember. Good old interior there. Of course, we know this one's not going to start. Many years of good trips on this in these things. Yeah. Well, it looks like everyone hopefully got out uh, unscathed. I don't see any uh, signs of bio inside, so that's always a promising thing. So. I guess we'll just go on to the next one. All right, next on our list here is a 2013 Honda Accord EX. Listed as a non-runner. So I've been here for a few months since January, looks like. It says it's uh, minor scratches all over. Looks like we've got a broken window or a window that won't go down. No power, of course. Let's quick take a peek under the hood. If I can get there, maybe not. <clears throat> Either way, I mean, it looks like it had a little front bump. These Calypso's can easily be put back in place. Look at that, you're good to go. Rest of the car looks pretty good. Take a look inside here. You know, it looks, looks pretty clean inside. Of course, you know, it's got some age to it. So I think a good detailing here would be pretty good. Looks like uh, somebody's been a little bit sweaty in here. But so far, man, every car we've hit has had a not repulsive smell to it. So that's got that going for it. Backside looks clean. Uh, yeah, it actually smells nice in here. It smells like the beach. Let me take a look under here one more time, see if we can get this little hood open. There we go, look at that. Little uh, Earth Dreams engine in here. Looks like maybe a little bit of uh, Salt water, splash through puddles, maybe a little coolant uh, overheating issue. Just says non-runner, so again, can't get in the uh, driver's side. I don't have a boost pack. Of course, power is undone, so that may be for a reason, and I'm not going to touch it. So, moving on to the next one. All right, next here is a 2017 Acura RDX no odometer and the listing shows it's a clear ohio title so what does this mean buy it fix it put it back on the road yeah it might be a little easier said than done it does look like everything has been pushed back but i don't know if it got into the engine or not I know all these plastics and probably some plugs and wiring is going to all need to get replaced. Um, these little frame rail stubs, this one's damaged, 
but the rails themselves, from what I can see, look straight. Of course, that could be misleading, but that's why you've got to come out and look at the cars versus just buying and bidding online without actually inspecting them. You never know what you're going to end up with. Now, it looks like this fender got pushed out, so the inner fender is likely tweaked, or more than tweaked. Uh, but as long as the strut tower looks good, and again, these frame rails don't look tweaked, it should be pretty easy to put back together. This here, you know, do you cut it and chop it, replace it? Do you hammer it back in? Good to go. That's up to you. I do have a bunch of bags blown inside here. But not the driver's side, oddly. Passenger side, no knee bags. Then looks like she also got hit in the rear. So you have both front end and rear end damage. And personally, I'd rather work on front ends than rear ends. I have to pull out this pan. And that looks like that's gonna be some work to do. Nothing to say you couldn't do it with the right equipment, but that's gonna be out of my wheelhouse. Look in here real quick. Yep, that door's shut. So, see about the back. Oh, and look at that. There we go. Here's your door gap. So this whole thing got pushed forward, which means you're gonna need a lot more work back here. You've got some crinkles here too. And those are things you really don't see in pictures online. Even with the HD photos here, the virtual walk-arounds, you know, look at that gap here. Correct gap here. No gap on that side. But again, inside, it looks pretty good. A little dirty, a little dusty. Let's move on to the next one. Here we've got a 2018 Jeep Renegade, just over 100,000 miles. This also seems to have taken a pretty good lick to the front end. Listed as a non-runner, Kind of would have expected that. Aside from the boo boo in the front, doesn't look that bad, but looks are deceiving. Put her here quick, not a whole lot to see. Got uh, broken coolant stuff. Guessing everything behind here is going to be damaged and destroyed, condenser, radiator, all that good stuff. The crash bar you can see is totaled maybe some frame rail damage who knows the rest of the car looks pretty straight what we got in here got all of our bags in the front blown none of the side curtains nope side curtains blue too so again pretty good investment in uh, repairs for those airbags pretensioners I've not, I've not poked my head in one of these before. They look like pretty fun little cars. Uh, for me, it kind of varies away from the original Jeep. And too small for my preference as a daily, but I'm sure for a lot of folks, it's a great car. Of course, we can't get in the back because it's dead. There we go. Again, it smells pretty decent. TK, you'd be uh, you'd be right at home out here. Uh, side airbags and the seats are blown too. Smells pretty good. I think uh, TK wouldn't have much to complain about at all. Looks like someone spilled their beverage on the roof. It's to be expected, I guess. Anyways, what do you think about this little renegade? Something you want to? Uh, tackle and repair or just uh, scavenge what you can and send the rest to the crusher all right that's going to wrap this one up here uh, again lots of cars here lots of uh, different damage than we've got up in minnesota so uh, again we've got more of these coming your way so like share subscribe and remember copart is free to join and be a member and if you want to bid on cars it's a small men uh, small membership fee and uh, lots of good projects here lots of good parts here just Come out and look at cars first. Doesn't always work to uh, buy sight unseen as some of the other YouTubers have uh, well displayed over the years. 
So until the next video, I'm gonna keep having fun down here in Florida, looking at cars. Might find a hat and a bottle of water, but uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.